Here's how we get neutron probe data from the probe into the probe schedule software. Now remember that a neutron probe is a manual instrument. So you need to download the probe readings from the probe to a PC, store a file there, and then we can gonna go and upload it from the PC to the web because probe schedule is web-based. Uh, you would be using a piece of software, something like this, to download from the PC, and we have this available if you do not have anything available. So once you get it, it loaded onto the PC, we're going to go into probe schedule, you go to soil moisture, and under the neutron heading, go to upload. The screen comes up, and it's going to prompt us for three things. First, the model. And, and this is important, both the A and the B uh, neutron probes do not keep track of date and time. So if you're using either of these, then it is also important to identify the date of the data. Now let's say this was on the 3rd of March, and in this case let's say we know that we have a 503B. So we go choose the file, and now you, this is opening up a browser on your PC, and I'm in the downloads directory. This is the file I'm looking for right here. Identify it. Say open. There is the name, and it's March the 3rd, and I'm putting it in there, and this is the file I've selected, and I say upload. And then something happens. It says the upload file does not look right. Um, this is actually defaulted back to A. We know that it was a B, and something was wrong with this file. It's not uploading it. So at this point, I suggest you open up your browser. You go to the downloads folder, identify the file, and open it with Notepad. And if that's not the default, you're going to right click and tell it to open it with Notepad. Mine is already set up to do that, so if I double click on this, it'll open it right up in Notepad. And this is what the Neutron Pro download file looks like. We have line numbers, and there is the important bit. The program is looking for 503B. But this is a CSV file, so comma separated values. It is expecting to find that in the second column. And we have some junk values up front here. So I can go ahead, in fact, this line is totally duplicated. So I can just go ahead, delete that entire first line, make sure it's not blank, take it out, and make sure that the second one identifies my probe as a 503B. So I can go ahead, save that file, close it out, and now I'm going to go back to probe schedule, and I'm telling it 503BE, I'm telling it we're on, we're going to load this onto the third, and I'm going to choose the file again, and go to the directory, identify the file, open, upload, and this time it's worked, so here we have the data, 503B, and the way this file works, is anything that is not appropriate to this project because of the tube number will automatically have an NA as a not applicable and it will be ticked here for deletion, meaning we do not want to store the data in this project. So let's just roll down see if there's anything for this project and ironically in this case the only tube that's going to be saved here is tube number one which happens to be the calibration book. But uh, we have selected the third of March, there it is, and because this unit doesn't keep track of time, it'll just come up as, as zero values. So I can go ahead and save that, it'll junk all of these, it'll make use of this one data set in this case.